What started as a peaceful protest march by students of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology NUST turned violent. Aside from the extensive damage to the university's property, at least 16 vehicles belonging to some staff of the university were severely damaged by the rampaging students. The SRC of the KNUST last Saturday issued a statement asking all students of the university to boycott lectures on Monday, October 22, in an apparent reaction to alleged confrontation between some students of the Katanga Hall and the internal security of the university in the night of last Friday. The security officials are reported to have subjected the students to physical abuse. In the process, at least one male student who was injured was hospitalized at the KNUST hospital while others were briefly detained at the Tech Police Station. Angered by this, the students decided to meet the KNUST security boot for boot. However, this ensued in total confusion. The rampaging student broke glass windows to gain access to the premises before damaging any property they found around. As the students ran amok, staff and the administration desperately took to their heels in a dive for cover. At a point, it took the intervention of a policeman to free a lecturer from the grips of one of the rampaging students. The student who assailed the lecturer had seized and smashed the lecturer's mobile phone. In the end, at least 16 private vehicles belonging to some staff of the university were badly damaged while the central administration was also vandalized. Some of the students who spoke to GBC24 expressed regret at the turn of event. In both ways, I think that uh, student brutality is not good for any reason. Uh, no matter what crime an individual has committed, it is not worth breaking his car to see his blood gash out for any reason at all on campus. On the other hand, civil disobedience has produced a lot more results, a lot of peaceful resolutions over the past years. You can talk about from Mahatma Gandhi to Martin Luther King using civil disobedience to make policies and environments comfortable for everyone. So in as much as the SS wants to protest, which I think is a good idea, they need to put in measures to make sure it doesn't become violent, which they have failed to do. So uh, it's a good thing to demonstrate, to make sure students, uh, we have a very peaceful environment. Because no matter how much you break the scale of another student, it does not in any way tell me that I'm safe on campus, that the campus is, is sound for me to come and study. On the other hand, a student breaking the property of the university does not in any way communicate that we can make a resolve that will last forever.